It's a rare opportunity for two doctors in the Quad Cities. They teamed up to operate on a patient at Nyabi Zoo, a colobus monkey with cancer. But for one of those doctors, this was his very first non-human patient. It's new at five tonight. On a rainy day at Nyabi Zoo, keepers coax the monkeys out of hiding with some of their favorite foods. I think if our guests came out to the zoo and tried to figure out which monkey had surgery, I think they'd have a very hard time. There she is, Kia, the six-year-old colobus with a story that doctors will study for years to come. The type of cancer that she has, um, there's not a lot of documented cases of that specific type of cancer in non-human primates, but specifically in colobus monkeys, I really couldn't find any data. Staff veterinarian Dr. Lauren Hughes says Kia had cancer in her uterus. Her entire reproductive tract was affected. She'd need a full hysterectomy, a situation so rare and anatomy so precise that Dr. Hughes called in a specialist. I actually thought uh, someone was playing a trick on me. Dr. Justin Heinzman, about, uh, an OBGYN with medical arts in Moline. Who did daddy operate on? A monkey. Father of two, Dr. Heinzman has had thousands of human patients, only one colobus monkey. We all had the same common goal. We wanted to save, you know, that, that monkey. To give you a size comparison, an OBGYN would typically be operating on a full-grown adult. But in this case, it's really the equivalent of working on a 30-pound animal or a three-year-old child. The team worked for about three hours in the Nyabi Zoo Animal Hospital. We really worked well together. Um, just like in any surgery, you know, the ego goes out the window when, when you're operating. It's all about your patient, and so you do what's best for the patient at the time. Now, six months later, the patient is reaching the highest branches, fully integrated back into her troop. I did text a couple, a couple buddies from medical school and said, you know, you'll never guess what I did today. But other than that, we kept things pretty quiet. The story is just now getting out among Dr. Heinzman's colleagues. For both doctors, a career high. It is probably one of like the top 10 things I've ever done in the seven years I've been out of school. And Kia is the living proof. Now, you may be wondering, another huge difference between a human patient and an animal is the recovery. You can't put a monkey on bed rest, right? So here's what they did. They put her in a smaller enclosure, but still nearby her troop. And then over time, they would allow some visits and some longer stays with the other monkeys. It was about 10 weeks in all before Kia could be back in the full exhibit full time.